It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl. Today, the second of our two semifinal matches as we head to the finale of this year, our 32nd season. Who will be this year's middle school champion? Could be one of these two schools. Let's meet them right now. First from Charles Carroll Middle School. Would you say hello please to Wilson Martinez, Rodrigo Torres, and Kimber Lopez. And from Kenmore Middle School, here they are, Abigail Lopez, John Watson, and Jonathan Mejia. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty. The left side, easier questions, 5 and 10 points. Tougher ones, 15, 20, ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds, we will have our second semi-finalist going up against Martin Luther King for this year's county championship. So a lot at stake today. Let's make sure everything works properly. Rodrigo, where'd you try the red team's buzzer? It looks and sounds A-OK -okay to me. Good luck to you and to Kimber and to Wilson. And John, how about the green teams? All right, that's a group push over there. John and Jonathan and Abigail. All right, guys, it's been a long season, and we are so proud that you guys have made it this far in the competition. Charles Carroll, in our 32 years, we have only seen you a handful of times, and you have really made an impression the past few years. So congratulations to you. You've never won a county championship. Kenmore, you've won nine county championships, the winningest school ever, and I know you'd like to add to that tally. Let's have a good game. We go alphabetically C before K, so Rodrigo and Charles Carroll, let's play the bowl. Uh, body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, the golfer Phil Mickelson often advertises on television that he suffers from psoriatic arthritis, which is a disease that affects the skin as well as these. Kenmore. The joints. The joints. Yes, sir. Good answer. Go, John. Um, body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, depending on what happens today, your lacrimal glands might get a workout. You might be shedding these of sorrow or joy when all of this is Tears. said and done, Kenmore. Tears. Tears, that's right. Good. Green. Um, uh, body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, the singer, the late singer Frank Sinatra, described another singer, Vic Damone, who just died recently, as having the best pipes in the business. The pipes he was referring to, of course, were his vocal cords, but also the windpipe, otherwise, John? The tetria? 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 Mm, not quite, not quite. Charles Carroll, another name for the windpipe is this. John was attempting to tell us. The trachea? Say it again. The trachea? Trachea, yes, that's what I want to hear. Good. Red, go. Uh, Dateline Science for 15. Dateline Science for 15 points. Teams in the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, all of the medals will be made from melted down cell phones. That's because in a typical cell phone, we have about 40 grams, kilograms rather, of gold. We have about 48 kilograms of silver and about 29 kilograms of this. Bronze. Kenmore. Bronze. Bronze is right, yes. Just wait till we recognize you, John, before you give the answer. Uh, I just appreciate that. Go again, Green. Good start. Go. Um, body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, if you say something that you wish you had never said, People say you've got this body part in your mouth. Kenmore. 
your brain? No, no. You say something you wish you hadn't said, so you put your what in your mouth? Your tongue? Your foot in your mouth. It's called, you put your foot in your mouth. You know, that's uh, the weird saying. Have you never heard that before? Go again, green. 90 to 70, you have a 20 point advantage. Um, daylight science for 10. Daylight for 10 points. Teams, uh, Elon Musk recently launched a rocket and one of his Tesla Roadsters went aboard in this right now in outer space, up there flying forever. And on the dashboard of that car, it says, don't panic. That is a line from the famous book that Douglas Adams wrote, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the What? Charles Carroll. The Wilderness. The Wilderness? Not The Wilderness, no. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the What? Guys, ever hear that book? The Galaxy. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I know you guys are readers. I hope you read that book. Go green. Um, you prayed for 10. Zoo prayed for 10 points. Multiple choice question. Teams in the movie Jurassic World. When this structure was breached, and I will give you choices, all of the pterodactyls threw out, flew away. Was it when the helicopter crashed into it, the aviary, the ossuary? The aviary. The aviary, not the ossuary and not the apiary. Yes, indeed. Good. Go green. Um, Zoo prayed for 15. Zoo prayed for 15 points. Teams, bats are not only the only mammals that fly, they're also the only mammals that when they reproduce, do it through the breach method, which means they're born how? What is a breach birth? It's when the feet come out first instead of the head. Go green. Um, I don't see you talking to each other much here. Zoo prayed for 20. Zoo prayed for 20 points. All right, teams. Another reproductive question. You know that we are placental mammals, whereas kangaroos are marsupial animals. Well, when a kangaroo gives birth, since it has no womb, it gives birth to a joey, which is really an undeveloped one of these. Fetus. Fetus, exactly right. Yeah, and then it goes inside that pouch and continues development. Nice answer. Uh, go, John. Um, body systems for 25. Body systems for 25 points. All right, teams, your uh, big question in that category is as follows. Another name for your outer ear is the same word that can be used to describe one of the two upper chambers of the heart. What is that word? The atrium? Not the atrium. Good try, Charles Carroll. The name for the outer ear is also the same ventricle. word that can be used to describe ventricle. one of the two upper chambers of the heart, Rodrigo. The ventricle? It's called the auricle. The auricle. A-U-R is a word that gives you this, the idea that it is involved in hearing. All right, the buzzer has sounded. 70 for Charles Carroll. 120 for Ken Moore. Round two, coming straight up. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. So nice to have you here today. As we said at the top of the show, this is a very critical game because one of these two schools is coming back to play Martin Luther King for the chance to become the county champion. The winner of this year's championship, as every year, will be taking home a plaque for the school and individual plaques for each of the players and alternates. And everybody today, as a tribute to all of their skills and for advancing this far in our competition, they're taking home Audubon field guides in a field of their choice. If they like reptiles or birds or mammals or the weather or fossils, we've got a book and we hope they cherish this for their life. And uh, look at some of those great pictures if they go out into the field and become and continue to be the naturalists that they are. Let's go over and make sure that uh, everything is working properly. We know that it is, and uh, let's see if how the teams are holding up. Let's find out about the Charles Carroll team and Rodrigo. As we were saying, Charles Carroll's never been in the semis before. How's it feel? If, uh, well, we're all very nervous because we've never gotten this of hard course. any competition. <laughs> if you weren't nervous, you wouldn't be normal. And I know a couple of you aren't feeling really good today, but you're you're sucking it up and you're doing it for the cause and you're representing your school really well. Who is the principal at your school? Uh, Mr. Hendershot. Absolutely. I know he's out there rooting for you. And the sponsor of your team? Ms. Chaudhry. Yes, indeed. Without her, you guys would not be here. She is just a dedicated person. She's a great scientist, and I know she's worked very hard to get you here. Uh, tell me about your school. 
what is something really mm. cool about Charles Carroll? Uh, Charles Carroll, we're, I like about a school that we're always progressing towards better. Yeah, yeah. And of course, that's the whole idea. You know, you want to continue to grow, not just in stature, and you guys have grown since I saw you last time, but you're growing intellectually as well. Tell me what you want to do someday. Uh, I either want to be a surgeon or a, a surgeon or a professional football player. All right. What team would you play for? Either the Ravens or, yeah, pretty much the Ravens. All right, so it's, it's done, right? Yep. We should, we should call Steve Buscemi, is that his name, who runs this team or owns the team, and say, Rodrigo is ready. Do you have any alternates on your team? Uh, St. Tonya. Okay, he'll be out in a few moments. Kimber, nice to have you here. Young man who plays soccer and you like to read. And what else do you do in your spare time? Um, I'm mostly on my computer most of the time, or I'm, you know, doing homework, studying up, or um, I like to play Fortnite as well as the cameraman. Uh, yeah. That's a fun game. <laughs> that's good. Regular guy, doing all the stuff you should do at this age, and where do you see, where do you see yourself in the future? Uh, you know, after I, I, I plan to go to college, and I plan to do something to that, that will give back to the community, yeah. give back to the people who um, helped me so much to reach where I am today. I love with, when you say that, you know, it's not always about me, 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 what I'm going to do. Of course, you've got to be your best me, but you're already thinking about giving back, and I applaud you for that. Wilson, nice to have you with us today. Okay. How many times have you been on the show? Uh, Is this your third time? At maybe, least. maybe my fourth. Maybe your fourth yeah. time, yeah. What do you like about the Science Bowl? I mean, it's interesting because you never know what's going to come up next as a question, so yeah. like, it really tests your brain out. Try to keep you guys on your toes, right? Yeah. Uh, tell me about what you do in your spare time. Honestly, um, either producing or graphic design. Graphic design. Would you like to do that professionally someday? Not really, no. Not really. What, what, what are you thinking of, if anything, right now? Uh, honestly, just a pediatrician for now. Pedi pediatrician. I remember you mentioning that last time, too. Do you have younger brothers and sisters at home? Yeah, just a small brother. Yeah, all right. So you're getting some practice in right now. Nice to have you back. Kenmore, nice to have you guys here. And John, tell us the Kenmore story. We were saying how many championships Kenmore has won. What's the Kenmore secret? Maybe you don't want to share it. <laughs> well, we just have great teachers that teach us as the best that they can. Wow. All the Kenmore teachers listening, their chests just puffed out because you did such a nice thing by complimenting them. Who's your principal there? Miss Foley. Yes, and she's been there for many years, and she has a one, she runs a tight ship over there. And uh, you guys are successful because of her efforts and because of who's your sponsor? Miss Sanchez. Yes, and we'll be out in just a few moments. Time also has done a wonderful job. Uh, John, any alternates on your team? We have Isa Two and Diego. Wonderful. We'll bring them out, give them some face time in a few moments here. And John, uh, you uh, you love to read and read and read. And it's really paid off because you're a very smart young man. What do you want to do professionally? Well, I want to be a research scientist or a geneticist. Yeah, why geneticist? Because I'm just so fascinated with DNA and the human genome, and that uh, we can uh, unravel some of the mysteries of the DNA. Absolutely. Of I was thinking when you said genetics about genealogy, I wondered if you'd send in a sample of your cells to. Uh, uh, 23 and me to get the, the history of your family. That's kind of neat, too, to follow the genes back. You're a good captain. Jonathan, uh, new to the show, yeah. and you were recruited by Abigail, and we thank Abigail for doing that. Tell us about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? Uh, my spare time, I do my homework, and then um, sometimes I practice the saxophone and I play video games. Yeah, all right. How long you played the sax? Uh, three years now. Three years, that's wonderful. And you're a soccer player, too, aren't you, yeah. you said? Okay. Abigail, tell us about yourself. Uh, you're a multi-talented and very busy young lady, too. What do yeah. you do? Um, well, in my spare time, I play the cello. I also play soccer, and I play volleyball as well. Oh, and you're I like so, reading. You're so <laughs> humble. Are you able to parcel out your time and do all that? Yeah. Yeah, I, I can see from uh, just watching you play that you're, uh, you're a very organized, talented young lady. Let's get back to our game. 120 Kenmore, 70 Charles Carroll. Lots of points to give away, and we start with John. Um, green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, if you have the chance to work for Microsoft, do it. Because when you go to work, you have the option of working in an arboreal abode. Meaning, you could go work in one of what? You could go where, John? Um, you can work in trees, trees, treehouses. Tree houses. Tree houses, yeah, they got tree houses on the campus. You can go up in the tree house. Isn't that cool? As an adult, you got your own treehouse. Go green. Um, green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, an SUV is a sport utility vehicle. But an SAV 
are the plants that grow on the floor of Chesapeake Bay. That stands for submerged, aquatic, what? Charles Carroll, what's the V? What you got? Don't ring in unless you have an idea. Kenmore, what's the V? Submerged, aquatic, what? Vegetation. <laughs> Plants on the bottom of Chesapeake. Come on, guys, let's, let's start getting those gears going. Here, go green. Um, let's get physical for 10. Physical for 10 points. All right, teams. Proxima Centauri is the nearest star to Earth. It is 4.22 of these units away. Huh? Rodrigo? Light years. Light years. Yeah, good. Red. Let's go. You need some points. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Wilson. Let's get physical for 20 points. Physical for 20 points. All right, teams. The gases butane, methane, ethane, and propane all have different numbers of atoms of what same? Protons? Nope. Oh, my. All those gases, Kenmore, have different numbers of what two elements that are found in each of those gases? Um. Carbon and hydrogen. Number of carbons, CH4, that's Methane, C2H5, that's ethane. It goes the same way. They're known as hydrocarbons for that reason. Go red. Or excuse me, is it green or red? Red, okay. Go, Rodrigo. Uh, science potpourri for 25. Science potpourri for? 25. 25, all right, teams. Kind of a tough question for you. When you, if you, all right, so what do you want to tell me? <laughs> All right, here's your question. Science Pope brief for 25 points. If a doctor is removing your stomach or your kidney or your appendix, the same six letters are at the end of that medical procedure. An appendix, a gallbladder, a stomach, what same six letters are at the end of that procedure when the doctor takes it out? Ken Moore. Uh, disectomy? Disectomy? Give me the six letters. This, uh, D, I, A, S, T, E, M? I, you're you're kind of all over the map there. The same six letters are at the end of each of these organ removals. All right, now John has given you a big assist. Come on, give me the six letters. Oh, pass it, Kimber. Come on, Kimber, let's do it. E-C-T-O-M-Y. You got it, E-C-T-O-M-Y, like an appendectomy. Exactly, good, go red. Okay, watch with that buzzer over there. Because you're all holding it, that's why. Uh, go ahead, red. Dayline signs for 25. Dayline signs for 25 points is a visual question and a multiple choice question. Look at the monitor, please. Dateline for 25 points. This experiment with a dead frog's legs dangling and electrodes attached to them showed that even when dead, you can make those legs twitch because we have electricity in our body. Of the following three scientists who performed this important experiment, was it Luigi Galvani, Anders Vesalius, or Max Planck? Whose experiment is this Rodrigo? Uh, the second one? No. Is it Galavani, Vesalius, or Plunk? The first one? The first one, Galavani, because galvanic refers to electricity. That's why I threw those in there. That was your clue. Go green. Daylight science for 20. Daylight science for 20 points. Teams, in 1972, that was the last time men walked on the moon. That was the 17th mission of what space program, Rodrigo? Apollo. Apollo, you got it, Apollo 17, good. Red. Uh, Zoo Parade for 25. Zoo Parade for? 25. 20 points, all right. Did you say 20 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25, all right, teams. The reason why hummingbirds and shrews, they're so tiny, they don't live very long, their hearts beat very fast. They also have a very high BMR, which is a basal what? What, are they, what does the MR? It is why they, they don't live very long. Mortality rate? Again? Mortality rate. Oh, not mortality rate. That was a good try. BMR. They don't live long because they have a BMR. Their hearts beat very fast. What's the M? What's the R? 
Um, I pass it to Abby. Come on, Abby. Let's do it. Um, Metabolic rate. Metabolic rate. Go again, red. 125, 155. We got a good game here. Come on, Rodrigo. Uh, green things for 25. Green things for 20 points. Teams of the six stages. I'm sorry. What is this? Okay. Uh, 25 in green things. 25 in green things. Yeah, be a little, a little clear here. I can't hear your 20 and 25s real clearly. Would you look at the monitor, please, for this question? Thank you, judges. All right. This is goldenrod. You've seen it around. It's a common weed. It has been blamed for years for causing hay fever. The poor plant has nothing to do with hay fever because its pollen is so heavy it cannot be blown by the wind. What does cause hay fever is the weed that grows around it that is not as photogenic. What is the name of the plant that does cause hay fever? If you take Claritin, if you know allergy sufferers, you know this plant. It's called ragweed. Ragweed. Go red. Um, green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. All right, teams. The first of the six stages in this is called green bud. I want you to tell me the last stage of this event that takes place at the tidal basin with the cherry trees. What is the culminating event as everybody waits? It starts with the green bud and it ends with what? A bloom. Specifically? A bud blooming. What's it called? Everyone waits for this particular thing. Ken Moore, what's the particular thing they wait for? Pink bloom. Say it again. Peak bloom. Peak bloom. That's right. Yeah, when they're all fully opened up. It's like the popcorn is all popped. Okay, go green. Um, let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25. That was a good answer, John. Here's the 25-point question. Teams, in Key West, Florida, they're running out of drinking water, so they're going to have to desalinate the ocean. They're doing that, and they're doing it by a process called reverse what? The process where... Yes, Rodrigo. Osmosis. Osmosis. Good answer. Yeah. Good young man. Go. Red. Uh, science potpourri for 20. Science potpourri for 20 points. Teams, element number 115 on the periodic table has just been named for this capital city of Russia. Moscow. Ken Moore. Um, I passed the Abbey. Abbey. Moscow. Moscow. It's called Muscovium. Yes, ma'am. Good. Green. Good answer. Um, let's, get, let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, when you watched the Olympics and you saw the skaters spin, if they put their arms out, it slows them down. If they pull their arms in, they spin faster. That is known as the law of conservation of angular what? Ken Moore. Energy? Not energy. Good try. The law of conservation of angular what? If it slows you down or makes you go faster. Acceleration? Momentum. Angular momentum. Try again green. Um, science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, if you suffer from brontophobia, you're afraid of this sound that the dinosaur known... Yes. Uh, what are you afraid of? Roars? What? Roars? Roar, not a roar. Charles Carroll, brontophobia is a fear of this sound that the brontosaurus dinosaur supposedly made when it walked. Stomp? Thunder. Thunder was called the thunder lizard. Brontos, brontophobia is a, a fear of thunder. Go again, green. Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams. The name, the brand name of this very expensive kind of watch makes it sound like it's named for a dinosaur, some old bone. Actually, the boys who were the sons of the founder of the company used to call their dad this name because he was so old. What kind of watches are they? It's a brand name. Rolex. Not Rolex, good try. Got to mean old. Oh, my president. No, Come on, Jonathan. He said, no, 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 not me. No, I, was not me. I was going to say Rolex, too. Okay. Fossil. They're called fossil watches. Go green. Oh, 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 we're not going anywhere. Buzzer says, game is over. Looks like Ken Moore has done it. We'll be back in a moment. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. We said this was an important game, and the play testified to that. It was close throughout. Our final tally today is Charles Carroll, 150. Ken Moore, 195. Congratulations to Abigail and John and Jonathan. Their alternate Diego back there. And Ms. Sanchez, congratulations. It will be you against Martin Luther King for the county championship. 
and a round of applause for Charles Carroll. Never have we seen them this far. Wilson and Rodrigo and Kimber and Santania. A wonderful alternate back there. And Ms. Charter, we can't thank you enough for all you've done to get this school in the limelight here because we loved having them and we loved having you too. We hope to see you next time for the county championship. It is Ken Moore versus Martin Luther King. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.